One of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to blockchain is that blockchain is Bitcoin or blockchain is cryptocurrency. Blockchain is not cryptocurrency. Blockchain is a technology that cryptocurrency was built on. Blockchain is so much bigger than Bitcoin. I think the best way to think about blockchain is, is really the internet of value. So if, if you could have a database of every single asset and there was a record of it where no one could hack the record, no one could fake it, no one could essentially tamper with it. And the reason for that is, is because everyone has access to it. So we all have our own copy of that record. And so if, in order to hack it, you'd have to hack into every single copy on the entire planet. And that's the thing that's so powerful when it comes to blockchain is it's this decentralized database, which allows us to store value in digital format. And we've never really had that until Bitcoin came around. Before we had email, we didn't really understand the internet and all that the internet could do. So email essentially was the first killer app of the internet. Now take that same analogy to blockchain. Bitcoin was the first killer app for blockchain. But then when you think about the underlying technology that is blockchain in this distributed database, what it allows us to do now is take friction out of the system. When you take friction out of the system, you have two things. One, revenue, and two, cost savings. So we look at companies that can actually improve revenues by selling blockchain as a service. Companies like IBM, Intel, and Microsoft are actually big beneficiaries of this blockchain as a service concept. Companies that are consulting, so companies like Accenture, who's actually working with central banks in order to convert their currency into a digital format. Supply chains are using blockchain technology because it's a decentralized database, so anyone has access to this database, and that allows for food poisoning outbreaks to be identified in seconds. IBM worked with Walmart, Nestle, and a couple of other companies to identify where the food poisoning came from. It quickly, immediately, take it off the shelf, but just take that one item off the shelf instead of taking every single mango. And within seconds now, they can identify exactly the farm that that mango was farmed in, or the cocoa bean, you know, in the case of Nestle. And it's just because of this immutable, transparent ledger that everyone is sharing. When we think about those businesses, they operate on razor thin margins. If you can improve cost savings just a small amount, you get these big impacts to earnings, which is everything an investor looks for.